Hey guys, here we are what's probably going to be the last video of fans in my room, fans set up in my room. Now, the reason why it's probably going to be the last is because I'm probably not going to be in this room anymore after the summer because we're probably going to move this, to this house on the beach. So yeah. Let me I think that'll be my first time living in a house since I moved out of my since we moved out of my grandmother's house on my dad's side like when I was like less than a year old. So anyways, here we've actually got this Medea clip that I hooked up. As you may have noticed the cabinet is gone. We actually got rid of that because it was taking up a lot of space and instead they put a table there where I can do my homework and stuff. And you know where I can keep my stuff. It's only to put an extra shelf and but I can clear it up if I if I if I need to study or something. So yeah, the the mini ceiling fan over my over my bed thing is gone. So I'm just sort of compensated I decided to put this little chip fan on the window. I've had this fan for like 10 years now. It's this is the family gift from when my younger brother was born. Yeah, arguably this fan does bring down a bit of heat from here, so it's not that efficient. But it's still, it's still despite the fact that it does actually bring down some heat, it still creates a cooling wind effect. So it does actually still make it feel cooler, even though it it's actually bringing down heat, you know what I mean? So I had to make it easier. The amount of heat that the fan brings down is not enough to be that noticeable and to cancel out the cooling effect, if you know what I mean. So the fan still does make it feel cooler. It's a higher ground, I'm just sitting around and you know, you know. I normally keep with the air conditioner on these days because these days I, I discovered that mold grows at anything above like 70% so I'd rather just keep my room dry when I can. Actually tonight since, since it's been pretty much dry for most of the day, in fact I'm gonna open these drawers so they get there dry so they get dried up. Since it's been dry actually, I might just use the fan tonight actually. Anyways, there's that kit fan. Over here we've got the Aurora, see the Aurora 2, the 100 Pacific Aurora 2. This fan actually is likely gonna be this fan is not gonna be in my new room. Probably, probably won't be in my new room. Because, you know, you know how this fan is too small and it's in a cramped space right now and it hardly moves any air when it's not in reverse. And, you know, I don't, I don't really want a fan in reverse. So, the new the new room is not much different. It's, all, it's also really, really cramped, so this fan is not gonna go there. Instead, it's either gonna go in my younger brother's room but if if it's if my mom thinks that it's unsafe to have a fan in that room, because there's a bunk bed in that room. There's a bunk bed. In, there's gonna be a bunk bed in that room, but if it's far enough from the ceiling fan, then it should be safe. If it's not gonna go there, we're probably gonna have to sell this fan because I'm actually gonna get get a smaller fan for my new room. I'm thinking of a. I'm thinking of a. Little B ceiling fan, what they call a little B. I can't remember what brand it is, I think it's fan most. And in particular, I'm looking for one with chains, not with a remote. Because remotes need batteries, they break, stuff like that. And the chain ceiling, and the ceiling fans with the chains in my <laughs> grandparents' house, the better quality ones, in my grandmother's house. The better quality ones. They've lasted quite quite a while. Even though this even though the speed switch on one of them is broken. 
you know, here we've got the Zong and Seeming fan, the one we need an, an extra fan. Like when I'm drumming and stuff like that, and they get hot. They get hot. Yeah. I rarely ever use the fan, actually, just. But I do use it every so often, so that's why I did decide. So that's why I did decide to put it there. That is just for my old helper. Because my, at one point I wanted to leave the fan on 24-7 because of leaking issues, because of, because of leaking problems in the apartment, but now I just use a dehumidifier for that and the air conditioner because this fan didn't really do much to help. So anyways, there it is. Moves a fair amount of fair for a mini seating fan. Yeah. There's a dehumidifier there that I sometimes use. I actually point it straight at that leak over there. To, you know, to sort of dry it out a bit. Actually that fan used to be used to be hanging on a stick here at one point when I saw that big cabinet there, but <coughs> I said I had to say goodbye to that setup when we got rid of that cabinet. But anyway we got that. So I, so I still have a fan fanning my bed. And actually, I'm not gonna need a portable fan on my bed, I think, in my new room, because the new bed will probably be fanned by the ceiling fan, which is, which is actually pretty cool. So yeah. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please feel free to, to leave a like. I'm just gonna open this door. I just I just close it for the video, but anyway.